Hey guys, how you doing? <clears throat> welcome, welcome. Good morning. Listen, you know, I still have my old stuff up here. Yeah, I'm kind of blocking off the back and how ugly my shop is. But, uh, and, well, how empty. When there's nothing going on, this place is pretty quiet. So, anyhow, it is my studio, you know, coming to you directly from Key West, Florida. Listen, um, today's an art class day, and I'm thinking about making up a whole new lesson. Uh, we're doing landscapes this, this week. So um, I thought I'd give a little bit of a shout out, say how to do, you know, and, um, you know, maybe address some issues or something. You know, this, uh, this last little thing I did, uh, some woman, some woman, I'm just changing words. I'm leaving things out and doing this. I'm not doing any of those things. Maybe in this case, because I, all I did was go down the first, the first couple or the first statements and stuff like that. But uh, you know, not able to grasp this uh, this coded system. I mean, showing you that you know it's not even me. But anyways, taking flack from these these people. You know, I can't help it. I call. I said, you know, why do I bother talking to all these dead people all the time? You know, I didn't know that they was dead, but it's been told to me that they're all pretty dead. And that, uh, you know, and we've been learning that, you know, this curse is pretty strong. You know, that uh, even me, you know, if I were like in some kind of an inquiry or something like that, and I was showing them, hey, look, I, I, this is what it is, you know, and showing them that it's right here, right here in the Bible, right there, you know, the, the, uh, the poison that these people are drinking or whatever, you know, whatever's in the water uh, is really strong, you know? And so I wouldn't be able to even, you know, tell them or, or to, to prove to them that what I'm saying is correct because I just won't know how, how that works, you know? In uh, Buddhism, uh, when they're telling the stories is that, that while, while, you know, the teacher, the teacher would be like myself, or I am trying to tell someone how to meditate and stuff like that and, and show them the, the system and stuff like that. But in the stories, they, there's this Mara, you know, the tempter that comes in between the, the, the teacher and the student that the guy just, you know, sees the mouth moving, but just doesn't hear anything, you know? And so uh, there's, there's, this is, this is this idea that there is something that interferes with people that are doing the works, you know, and you just don't go and make fun of or change the word in any way, shape, or form. But uh, you know, my harvesting of information from this, this, this one Bible, this one source, you know means that, uh, you know, it's it was already in the Bible. It, you know, it kind of kills the idea. I mean, even though people still throw it at you that it's New Age and stuff, but it's, it's not New Age. It, it's written whenever it was written, you know. And, and just because we have our ideas, like this part of the book came 300 years ago, or this was just out of someone's mind and memories and passed on through time. No, none of that. I, I can just say, no, no, it can't. It's too beautifully written to just be that way. So, you know, that's a man, man makes this idea up, you know, try to make it, this is like trying to put a square or a round, a round object through a square hole. That's, that's really the way it is. And everyone likes to think that, oh yeah, with this Jesus and all these people and things, oh, you know. They fall in love with them. That's how it works. You know, that's the flesh. The flesh is the weak side, and they favor the weak, the, the flesh. They really do, you know. That's anybody who is stuck on the, the word. It's the snare. The gospel has to be the snare. That's how we get into this whole thing. You're not, you're not part of the game. You're not part of the, the field if you don't. If you don't play, you can't, you can't be a part of it, you know? So I was part of this. I was one of these guys, just like everyone else. But I started figuring it out. 
God says he wants to let your people free. And I understand that the, what the Jesus, you know, and all, but that there is no group of people on earth that God would favor over a group of people that, that learned how to do this correctly. And so what we find is that this is, um, God says, let my people free. And we later on find out that we have to come to him as children. So the little thing that he's called, talking about is our soul, this little thing inside of us. And so we find that breaking bread or, you know, going into meditation, pitching a tent, releases what's inside of us so it could go and do what the Father tells it to do. And the Father is you. You're the one. And it's you're the only person that knows when that day comes. No angels in heaven, no nothing. Only Father, and you're the Father, and you're the one that finally comes out there because only you can save yourself. It was so told me that uh, that uh, the difference between Buddhism and Christianity is that Buddhism you have to do it yourself. There's no help coming, you know, outside of teachings and stuff like that. But the difference is is that in Christianity something's coming. Something's going to come in and take care of things for you. And so that's going the wrong direction altogether because our the code matches up with Buddhism and it matches up with the Hindu, all right? It matches up with these ancient religions, they, they, the, the code, what runs underneath them. <coughs> Excuse me. So it has to be more along the same lines. There is no one coming. Even though this, the Bible says things like, you know, the, the, every eye will see this in the air or they'll come up and meet him in the air and then brings him back down to earth. This is the way it works in our mind. Nobody gets to see this. Why people say they do, why people say that they can even figure out that day that everybody on earth is going to get reaped and, and beat and destroyed and stuff like that, you know, and then everything's back together again, you know, restored and beautiful. Man, that's a pipe dream. I wish, you know. But this lifting people out of hell is a it's a promise that is given to you once you've finished your works. And, you know, how it is that when we go into meditation, you know, this we get plucked out of this? Maybe, maybe not. They said that, you know, even if there's places in here that even if you know the works, if you know how to do it, it doesn't mean you're going to go up there and make it, that, it, that your mind just be locked out you know, and you just can't get there, you know, and I spend a lot of time thinking, did I ever really make it, you know, and this is like the Doubting Thomas and stuff like that, but, you know, I was uh, drawn to some of my old videos, and um, uh, at the beginning of this uh, this business, when I was actually, I'm doing the street searching part, you know, you know, I'm trying to get there, trying to get at least halfway. I have come a long ways from those days, even from a year ago, even from two years ago. We've learned even more about this Bible. It's opened up more and more and more. And so I, I was listening to, you know, a story about the uh, Pentecost. I can tell that story so much better now, you know, uh, than, than the way it was done before. But I really thought I had something going on. But every time I turn around, there's, I get more and more information, you know, as we reveal more of the Bible, you know. But we've gotten a sequence of events that means that shows us pretty much that we have signed on to Father and have a great time with this while we're going, you know. And this Father, you know, that everyone thinks is God, is not. And he is just the teacher. You know, and we've made it out to be so many things. This the demon, this this Moloch, this this child eating thing, and, and uh, all kinds of stuff. We we have to just gone crazy with um, things to 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 dub this this lower mind, father. You know, and uh, <clears throat> to make it seem like it was higher. But even that, we. We peg our hatred and things like that, and we give it to God inspired it, you know, Father. But it's Father did it, not God. 
And so everything that we attribute to Father is not a good thing, you know? And that's where we get our trespasses from. That's how the Bible hooks us into it. That's part of the Gospels. You, you were brought together, brought here by the Gospels. You were brought to this point through the Gospels. Some people never get out of them. But one day, some people do, you know. And then everyone calls you heretics and this and that. And you, you, know, you basically, you know, have, have had your legs broken. So you're, the spiritual side of you has now been taken over by mother and the uh, horse and, the, and all those things that you did as a child no longer come into play anymore. It's, 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 you know, it's wrong. You can't do it anymore. You got mom. Mom says no. And this is the idea that this is why we came to her. We came to her because we needed to seek something that, that didn't seem to be working for us on this other side. And that's what the story about um, with, with Esther is about. This is the very first uh, opening business is that the queen didn't do what she was supposed to do. And so this is how you go about fixing it, you know. And he went through some time without it, you know. And even she comes in without a name, you know, without the real name. She's hidden. That's all I did is hidden. It's just so beautifully written. It is, and the the biggest problem that most people have when it comes to our Bible is that, like God says, they're so damn literal, you know. So, anyways, um, let's see. Yeah. So, um, I hope you guys are well. I'm going to get in here. I got to start cutting some canvas and stuff like that. Get dirty. All right. I hope you all are well. I hope you got something out of this. I didn't want to make it too long. But the classes will start up again ASAP. All right. I'll see you.